A huge weather pattern change will be coming to the United States over the next seven days, which is going to bring some of the coldest weather that we've seen all summer long across much of the United States, with temperatures dropping as much as 20 to 30 degrees as we go into this weekend and early next week. Additionally, the tropics are continuing to heat up as we are watching for a potential another hurricane to form in the Atlantic Ocean, which could impact Bermuda, and then more tropical waves are right behind that in the main development region. So in today's forecast, we're we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we are actually coming off of a day where we did see a tornado back over in South Dakota. We had a few storms go up in a fairly favorable environment for the month of August with some hail, wind, and also a couple of tornadoes that happened in far northeastern South Dakota. That was nothing too out of the ordinary, but obviously this month has been very quiet for severe weather. Believe it or not, we have not had a live stream on this channel in over 22 days, which is the longest streak that we've had since December of last year. And that is not because that we just haven't been able to go live. It's more because the weather has not been significant enough for us to go live. We've actually had a fairly quiet August compared to last year. Additionally, Hurricane Aaron is now just southeast of New England this morning. The outer bands were actually able to reach Cape Cod. We did see wave heights increasing in this area. Additionally, there was storm surge anywhere from Long Island all the way back through South Carolina. Some coastal flooding did happen last night. Today, Today, though, we're not dealing with much coastal flooding. The biggest concern is still the high waves and also the dangerous rip currents as Aaron moves away from the United States. Now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And to look at that, we are going to look at our jet stream in mid-level flow. And this is what it looks like right now. High pressure is dominating across the Southwest. And then we got this big low pressure system currently sitting back up into Canada. Here's your winds in the mid to upper levels. They are actually fairly strong for this time of the year across the Northern plains in the Midwest and the big reason why we are about to see a big weather pattern change is because of how strong these winds are and they're actually going to be coming out of the north as we go into Sunday and Monday and that's coming right out of Canada which is where there is still some cold air even in the month of August and we are expecting this large cold pool basically to develop as we go into Sunday and Monday across the northern plains in the Midwest and this is going to bring well below average temperatures into the lower 48 mainly to the east of the Rockies so big high pressure system will continue to build back along the west coast that's going to really warm things up it's going to keep things fairly dry over there but this right here is really just going to pummel in tons of cold air as we go into the beginning of this upcoming work week by tuesday and wednesday our winds will continue to stay out of the north out of canada which means that cold air will continue to sit across much of the lower 48 mainly from kansas all the way back through the northeast as we go into tuesday into wednesday this is going to create a very strong cold front which will go as far south as florida as we go into wednesday and then by thursday into friday the jet stream and our mid-level flow lifts back off to the north and then generally speaking by this point we are going to be watching for a few shortwave troughs that could bring severe weather and something else that I do want to point out is that during the last couple of days of August and into early September we actually could see a small little trough develop in the southeast which the weather prediction center has actually alluded to which could actually move up the east coast and become a tropical storm now this would be about eight to ten days from now the National Hurricane Center has not outlined an area here yet but I do think that there is a legitimate chance that a tropical storm could form just off the east coast as we go into the very tail end of this month which subnoptically would make a little bit more sense here and then as we go into early september things become a lot more uncertain and typically in the month of september severe weather is not nearly as common or frequent so we should not be talking about a whole lot of severe weather to start september but you never know there could be a curveball in the forecast and so as we've alluded to the weather is going to get very cold over the next seven days this is our temperature anomalies indicating well below average temperatures entering right into the northern plains in the midwest as we go into this weekend, especially on Sunday. Great Lakes get ready for some really cold weather as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that cold air is going to sink all the way down here to the south as that cold front will be moving into Texas and even back over towards Georgia and Alabama on Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, that cold front should make its way even as far south as Florida, especially in the Panhandle. The temperatures will drop about 5 to 10 degrees. Might not sound like a big deal, but for the month of August, we hardly ever see cold fronts go that far down to the south. So we'll actually have some colder weather down down there by the tail end of next week even notice by thursday the temperatures will be below average across most of florida and then by next weekend that cold weather will continue i don't i think i don't think we see a whole lot of warmer weather until we go into september so again the weather for the last several days here of august is going to be astonishing again we don't usually see weather like this in the month of august the fact that we have this really strong cold front coming is honestly amazing i think everybody can agree that the heat has been relentless so far this year and this is really nice to get summer relief from that summer heat now these are the actual temperatures that 
we're expecting over the next several days, beginning with our high temperatures on Saturday, which look at Dallas, Fort Worth, and Texas, 102. But back over in northern Minnesota, we'll actually have some high temperatures only in the upper 50s on Saturday. Sunday morning, temperatures will fall into the 40s and 50s across most of the Midwest and the northern plains. And then by the time we go into Monday morning, those temperatures are going to fall further in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Illinois. Most areas will fall into the 40s. We could even have a few areas in the upper 30s. So a little bit of frost cannot be ruled out over in the windy city we're expecting temperatures to be around 55 that is because the lakes are warmer right now which will keep a lot of those coastal regions warmer even though it's gonna be cooler for a lot of areas as we go into tuesday morning temperatures continue to get better again we're talking about 50s 60s and 40s across the midwest ohio valley northeast even back over into northern florida some low temperatures into the 60s are likely low temperatures as we go into wednesday continue to fall across much of the country and then by thursday we are still talking about phenomenal weather the high temperatures by thursday they could be literally as low as the 80s and also the 70s across most of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. And then back over in Florida, we will likely have high temperatures only in the mid 80s, which is not something you see very often in the month of August. There will be some areas that will be challenging record breaking low high temperatures for this time of the year as well. And the Climate Prediction Center does agree that it is about to be very cold for this time of the year. There is a well above average chance that we are going to see well below average temperatures across the central plains back into the northeast and the ohio valley and we will likely see those below average temperatures reach as far south as central texas this is for the last few days of august so this is from wednesday all the way through sunday which is literally the last five days of august so get ready again really nice weather's on the horizon definitely enjoy it while it's here because it's probably gonna be a pretty warm start to september if i had to guess now in terms of the future radar for the next several days we are expecting a few isolated severe storms to be possible today basically from nebraska back through the upper peninsula of michigan isolated hail wind perhaps a brief tornado will be possible on Saturday and Sunday. We're not expecting a whole lot in the way of severe weather, but rain will continue up and down the eastern seaboard. And then as we go into Monday and Tuesday, we're going to have high pressure dominating across the Midwest back through the Great Lakes, not expecting much in the way of severe weather at all for next week. I really don't see there being a whole lot of opportunities for severe weather across the country. And then as we begin the month of September, things become a lot more uncertain. But as of now, it looks to be fairly quiet across much of the country. The only thing that would really change this would obviously be the tropics and speaking of the tropics they are continuing to look very active right now hurricane Aaron is moving away from the united states and will become a extra tropical system as we go later into the week and then right here just to the south of Aaron, just to the south of bermuda we have a very high chance that our next tropical storm will form this would be fernan this would eventually be moving literally towards bermuda so if something forms here which i think something will we're gonna be probably talking about at the bare minimum a category one hurricane heading towards bermuda as we go into early next week so there could be some big problems on our hand if you're back over in the Bermuda area. Category 2 hurricane would definitely not be ruled out either, assuming something forms. Very low chance something develops right in the central Atlantic Ocean. And then this right here is actually taking an interesting turn. We originally thought that this would not really, you know, intensify into much of anything. And we thought it was going to weaken by the time it got to here in the main development region. But there's actually a chance that this could cause problems down the road as it heads towards the lesser Antilles. So there is a medium chance of development here over the next seven days out of this disturbance. It is looking fairly organized right now in infrared imagery, and there is a chance that we could have a tropical storm, maybe even a low-end hurricane by the tail end of this weekend into early next week, heading towards the Lester Antilles. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll likely have another video tomorrow going more in detail about this big cold blast that is upcoming, and any big changes in the tropics will all be included in that forecast. Otherwise, we'll see you guys all again in the next video, and have a fantastic rest of your day.